Hi friends, strangers, internet. My name is Emily Hankin. I love colorful makeup and colorful language. And I am back today to do the vibes of the Artist Couture Caliente palette. Now, this do the vibes, I feel like it's gonna be a little different in that I want that palette, which makes no sense because I'm not an orange eyeshadow lover, but I want it. So rather than focus on kind of getting the essence of the palette, I want to try to dupe it kind of as closely as I can based on the images I've seen because my makeup goblin makes me want to buy it. And I want to see if duping it out in a pretty close match kind of satisfies the makeup problem or if I still want it. Because I'll buy it if I still want it. But I want to play with the colors for a little bit before I make that decision. So, if you haven't seen the palette, I'm going to have an image of it on the screen. I think it's absolutely delicious looking in terms of the colors, the packaging, everything. I have a swatch photo that I'm going to use also as reference. I'll have it on the screen so that you can see what I'm, wor what I'm working with. I'm going to jump right in with yellows. And as I mentioned, this is going to be a little bit more about closely duping it out than kind of getting the essence. The first one I think of is this Colored Rain Lemon Drop. This is Lethal. Menagerie. Kaleidos. So the yellow one, yeah, and the swatch has a warmth to it that makes me think this lethal yellow is actually going to be the winner of the yellow bath. So let's pull that one out. Also, if you have any little magnets ever from depotting things, um, glue it on to the end of a end of one of your depotting spatulas, or I have these extra knotting uh, dotting tools, and then you have a palette shadow remover this is an idea i got from gina and the repan revolution instagram group so not my original idea but anyway the first color we're chosen is daybreak by lethal cosmetics the next color up is looks like a red orange so let's see what i have that might match it i'm not sure if i have a color exactly like that In terms of red oranges, the first thing that popped into my head is, oh, I don't actually know. This is from one of the Vivid Pigments palettes. We have this one from the Electric Turquoise palette. Ooh. We're gonna try out this Menagerie color. And let's just swatch out this orange from VR Neon. Or, yeah, VR Neon. Let's swatch the red from VR Neon just in case. Oh, wait. Oh, I need to use that red more often. One more reference, which may not be right, but I'm debating on depotting the Alamar uh, palette that I own. So I wanted to throw that in here just in case. So I'm actually looking at two colors in the palette right now. I'm looking at the two reds, the kind of the red orange red situation. And I'm actually thinking about pulling the two Kaleidos colors, which is this 
on this because when I'm looking at the swatches from top down, there's like a red orange and then there's a deeper red. And I don't actually think I have a deeper red beyond this. I used to have Sauced by Colored Rain, but I don't have that. So yeah, I'm gonna pull the two Kaleidos colors. I'm gonna pull from Electro Turquoise. So this is how our palette is looking so far. Now we're looking for a hot, hot pink that is a little on the deeper side. Also, Tyrion is right here. So there's that. So this is Sandbar from that brand that I don't give a fuck about anymore. This is from the Vivid Pigments palette from Colored Rain. I do have this one from Lethal, although it's, I think, yeah, it's more purple pink. Technically, the ColourPop is, mm, it is more warm tone. I do wish I had a different pink, but I think I am going to use, um, let's give, let's give She Who Not Be Named, aka ColourPop, a chance and see if I even like how this performs. It's still not quite the right one for me, but that is Sandbar, so that's what we're going to pick, which is that first color. Next up, we have two different orange shimmers, um, and one is lighter and more like with a golden sheen, and the other is richer, more like a metallic carrot. Um, I'm just gonna start swatching different metallic oranges that I have, and we're gonna see. I think everything here is too peachy, but let's give it a try. Yeah, hmm. These are all pretty peachy. I'm really looking at these, these first four. I feel like I don't have the exact right tone, but I think I want to pull out the orange from this Kaleidos palette. And then I'm debating between Colored Rain and Juvia's Place. Okay, so I'm looking at the image again. Um, uh, I'm so torn. I'm so torn. Because I just don't really have an orange that's truly like orange. But I think Juvia's is closer than um, than the color rain, which looks very red. Next up, we have a peachy pink. There's two colors from Terra Moon that I'm thinking about. And my hand is still damp, which I think is okay. Okay, no, actually, these are both not the right tones. Okay. We also have Peachy Keen from Colored Rain. And I don't know, I don't think any of these are maybe quite right. We're just gonna pull a bunch of random indie shadows um, and swatch them out. This is one from Lethal. I have this one. I have from Adept. Of these three, the one I'm thinking about is the Lethal Shade, actually, uh, because it's a little bit more peachy toned. I really like the peachy tone in the original color, and I feel like I'm struggling. to find the right one. The color that I keep going back to 
that I like in here is peachy keen because it's a little bit more orange toned. And I feel like the other color, which is at the top from Davina, is tempting. But I like the more orangey tone of Peachy Keen. So from top to bottom of my hand, Davina, Lethal, JD Glow, and then Kristen Lee Cosmetics. So I think I'm gonna go with uh, JD Glow. It's one of my newest JD Glow repurchases because I actually broke the shadow. Um, so it's still in a big pan, which is not my most fun palette look but whatever. This is where we are at. And I have one more color. And that color is a brownish red. The brownish red, or, or the orangish brown, I'm not sure how I'm describing it, kind of reminds me of a couple of shots. I don't think it's clay, but I'm gonna swatch clay. Uh, let's see that one. This one, and maybe this again. So I'm kind of debating between Tropico and this warm brown from Kaleidos. These two. Neither of them I think are quite right, but I think I'm actually going to depot this palette and throw Tropico into this palette because I felt like this is enough darker, this is deeper and muddier than these oranges and yeah, I'm going to swatch everything out and make sure that that seems like the good call. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back with swatches and Tyrion is here, which is why I zoomed out. So I'm deciding I'm gonna go with, with Tropico from the Alamar palette, which is this color right here. Um, I will show you the final, final palette once I depop this, but we are looking at this as like the palette creation so yeah those are my swatches and that is my caliente palette I'm just gonna say thank you so much for uh, spending a bit of your day with me and hanging out with me while I put together the Caliente palette. Let me know what you thought about my creation in the comments. Are you interested in this palette? Did you already buy it? Do you have thoughts? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of intrigued because I feel like I didn't quite nail, I don't quite have the full deep out of the palette, which may or may not make me intrigued in actually buying the palette once it hits Sephora, but I feel like I should dig into my oranges and play with them a bit more before I go buy more. So if you enjoy this, this video and, and would like to see more palette creation videos, duping the vibes, um, putting these kind of shadows on my face, hearing my thoughts and opinions, I would love for you to subscribe. Feel free to come find me on Instagram and Twitter at Nomnivorous. Uh, I also have a Patreon, which is linked down below. And thank you again for spending a bit of your day with me, and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye, friends.